Whoa. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Time to take a look-see around this room now and see what might or might not be around here because it's, that's just what I do now that I know that there could be something hiding around any sort of corner. I just kind of push my way into things to see what I can feel around and look around for and stuff like that. It doesn't really look like there's gonna be anything here considering that we're kind of blocked in by negative space door there so just a matter of just you know just cutting off all the possibilities we can here just right off the bat and that it looks like exactly what we did but <laughs> so, okay I guess we should begin working on the puzzle because well as far as I know a whole other areas are complete so yeah so, alright, I'm looking for big pieces first. So, obviously, this one's gotta be. Yeah, I'm, I'm turning. There we go. I was just saying, I clicked on you with the turn. Uh, obviously, though, the thing about it is. Oh, that one could actually be a vertical one, but what I'm looking for is any sort of corner piece type dealio thingajigger. And, yeah, just just like get a, give a starting position. Uh, this one, since it's, it looks like it's gotta go down no matter what. It probably has to connect into this one here. So that's a good, probably a good logical starting point, I guess you could say. Um, could I at least say, well, I mean, I'm sure I can, but I don't know if this will be the solution. Turn that around and then kind of loop this around that way. You know, just kind of, kind of take the stick out of the equation there and then work around it. Because the sticks are sometimes the, uh, the clogger of things, I guess you can say. And uh, where does the other one lead to? Uh, leads to here. Uh, this this might actually be the biggest puzzle in the game, for all I know. By the way, <laughs> if you didn't realize that, it, it just seems like a pretty large one here. Uh, I'm gonna go and turn this around like that, and then I guess I can turn that vertically and just kind of loop that. Mm. That away, maybe, and then I can put the back. To, oops, to yeah, like that. There we go. Turn the back to there, and then maybe I can end off the loop here by ending it at this one here. And I lost my cursor there for a second. That was weird. It's like it like disappears in. The, I mean, you can see a little bit of it there, but depending on the trend you see like right there is completely blended in depending on the transition of the shadow like it's supposed to invert see that see that and it goes to a darker color lighter darker and then it, when you get into one of, like the perfectly neutral gray yeah it just it doesn't transition well there <laughs> anyway uh, so I got that one to come around and there and well, I don't necessarily know if that's a solution, but that's how I got it to go around. <laughs> uh, this one actually might be a uh, thing that won't work. Because, yeah, it's got to either go... Well, let me just start back over at the corner here and do my logical deductions from the start. Um, for all I know, this, this could also be uh, like that. And maybe it's going to do a separate loop of the top, remember like that one time? And then just got that one stick coming down into here and then the rest of them is, is their own entity, maybe. I'll try that, I guess. It couldn't hurt to try that, especially when there's a ridiculous amount of possibilities going on around here. Uh, if that's going to be the case, then I got to have that turned up and away from that one. Uh, you know, the, the side to the side, or in this case, top to the bottom, depending on how your perspective of the cubes are. Uh, how about I turn like that, and then I'm going to reroute that around, how about like that, because then I have this freed up to turn around a different way. Because remember I had that, that looping lock there? So if I were to flip that, oh shoot, that's a sort of kind of corner piece type thing. Well, hmm, maybe not. <laughs> Just never know with the connection. Well, I actually, well, um, just gonna sort of kind of work out one thing at a time, I guess. Uh, hmm, I don't really see 
you know, like based on the pathways it's got to be, it doesn't really look like it's a uh, very downward friendly if I keep those that way. You know, I can't like transition between the two and I get sort of stuck in a loop. So maybe I am supposed to loop these around somehow. Because those obviously can go, you know, straight up and down that thus way. <laughs> I fell. Dang it. Do I have to have... I mean, maybe not. So to say, do I have to have it that way to work with the sticks that way? Because I could reroute the turn like that and just work around the turn around the bend thusly. See that? I got that around now and then I can go flip this... Sweet. How does this... There we go. <laughs> you know, something like right along the bottom there. And then it crisscrosses. You see there's a stick here. And I, fig I figured I could just end that with one of the, you know, little corner pieces or whatever. Uh, well, I should say bendy pieces or whatever. Um, you know, I, I bet a lot of these I could just do the whole uh, infinite loop scenario. You know, when I did that one way at the top. Because there's, there's a lot of these, like, corner flipper there, so it might just be, be a matter of dividing and conquering, as, as far as I know. Because, yeah, I could, like, see all these corners, just, just like, they all come mathematically to the same number. So it's not like that I would be altering that or anything. So, wait, how does this flip to? There we go. <laughs> uh, that isn't pointing to, okay. Wait, actually, no, 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 I have to have that going at least to, um... Because, I, yeah, that one's pointing straight down, so I can't, ha can't have it pointing the other way. Let's see if I can go and take this around. Because I don't necessarily... Well, I was going to say, I don't necessarily have to have that one pointed down. Do I? Do I? Because I could end the loop by coming across and, uh, say, I don't know, maybe doing something like that. Coming down and then around to the stick. And then rerouting the other one to whoops, dang that stick in the vertical. <laughs> and then rerouting this one to go that away. Oh, there's a blank spot here. That's interesting. I didn't really notice. Yeah, there's hmm. Hmm. So that means this is actually a corner piece that has to be facing that way because there's no way for it to connect anywhere over there. It's good that I noticed that. <laughs> uh, how about I go and do it like that? Because it, if that if that has to be a corner piece, then this probably has to turn. Uh, thing that okay, I gotta be close enough to flip some of these. <laughs> so I'm gonna try and flip that like so. Oh no 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 wait then, because yeah, this is also a corner piece. Because, yeah, there's nothing above there. Okay, we got we got something working here now. <laughs> Looking at things a little, little more closely. Like, now that I see it, there's nothing there. There's a whole other world to work on over here. Okay, what am I missing on this side, then? Uh, there's this one here, I guess. Oh, yeah, and then there's still this. I forgot all about this corner somehow. Uh, maybe I'll just try my infinite loop. Why not? Oops, that was the wrong idea there. There we go. Uh, I don't know if the infinite loop is the best idea, but I don't know. Give it a shot. And oops, 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 zoops. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I guess I got that coming around there. Uh, no, I don't think infinite loop is going to work in this, <laughs> this sort of scenario. It's got to come and do something like this, probably. And then, uh, well, actually, no. Or wait, can I loop those? Uh, yeah, I think I just looped those. So then I just got these over here. Oh, shoot, that, that corner type piece there again. Unless I go like that, and I take that around. This is tricky dicky. <laughs> I'm gonna go and take that there. Take, oops, take this up, and separate it, and then we turn it like that, and I'm gonna go and, oops, oh, come on now, I'm, I'm one away here, 
<laughs> At least I think I'm one away. I don't think I've got... <laughs> I don't know about the stick, though. I mean, the stick's probably got to be like that, but then the question is... How do I get that to loop around and not sort of do a blockage? Uh, or, or did I not connect them all on the other side? I don't know, it looks like they're all connected. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, let's see, it got the loop there. Got it zigzagging up and down and all around. <laughs> there wasn't anything that had to point up to those as I separated them. Uh, oh, this one here. Um, that's... Uh, seriously, what is this puzzle's problem? <laughs> Loop. Yeah, I know I, I said that's got to be a certain way, but maybe not. Might actually be something that turns that away. And maybe this turns this way. Because that, it's still got the backs to them. And then that would offset the uh, uh, the looping problem. But now what am I stuck on? Because I, I every time I think I've got it solved, I don't have it solved. <laughs> Backs there. Oops, uh, shoot the zoops. It connects around the loop. That goes down and around. Huh? Where is my non-connection here? Seriously. Oh, because this isn't a triple stick. It's just a single stick. Hmm. Oh, and then there's this one here. Oh, that actually might be it. Because I can go and flip this one there. Flip this one. Uh, actually, maybe I'll go vertically. I flip this. No, 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 no. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh yeah, that was it. Oh, that was a doozy. That was wow. Like I don't, I don't know. I probably should add some cuts to that or whatever. Just, but that took me around 19 minutes or so to figure out. The hardest challenges require you to find them first. That wasn't the hardest challenge. Or was it the hardest challenge? Or are they talking about those gray ones? I don't know. And, oh yeah, it looks like I'm right about it looping around to those stair-like thingajiggers. Like, remember I said from the other side it, it looked like uh, that if I went through this place here, it drops me off, and then I, I went through that door and I looked back up through here and I said, that's probably where it comes through. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's right. So... Then, I guess... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm sure that I explored everything up to this point. So it's just a matter of... I don't know, I guess maybe re-seeing the ending and seeing if there is going to be some sort of difference to it. Maybe? I'm not sure, really. I mean, I still haven't checked out that elevator room or anything like that, so... I guess I could do that, but I'm not saving and quitting uh, anywhere in there, because that, that's probably going to be a lock-away dealio thing like that other, uh, like that little alcove. Of <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'll go see you back over by the elevator room. Actually, better yet, Slender Cube. You know, the Slender Cube room, because now I think I've completed all the puzzles. Maybe. <laughs> I think. Uh, still signs saying the same thing, but... I just kind of wonder if, like, maybe I got some sort of new ability that would let me get up there, like maybe a higher jump or a double jump or something like that, but... Nah, I don't, I don't think so. And maybe now that I completed all the secret gray puzzles, Slender Cube is gonna be in the elevator area or something like that. I'm just not understanding what's the whole dealio with that Slender Cube thing, because, you know, you think that there is something that happens when you do that sort of thing. You know, that, that, that you make something disappear as like a, a signal of something. I don't know, but I'm gonna go back over to the elevator area. Like, for realsies this time. <laughs>
All right, here we go. Elevator area down the Grand Canyon through the two doors. And I'm going to go completely around the perimeter here looking for stuff first before I go in the elevator. Because, well, who knows what I might be missing around here. Because uh, I didn't really explore this room all that much. Because once I found that button in the elevator, that was like the first thing that I tried when I actually seen it. And then the rest of the room essentially got neglected at that period of time. So here we are in the really atmospheric, quote-unquote, maybe, final room of the game. Uh, what I'm hoping for is that after the elevator sequence, or at least during the elevator sequence, there's going to be something different. Like, because I completed all the puzzles, like, maybe. But I, I don't really know if I completed all the puzzles. It's so hard to tell, because there's no real indication other than that one time that I got all those gray ones, that I had a different sound. But that only made Slender Cube dissipate and go somewhere else. Maybe gone for good, or but even dissipating Slender Cube didn't do anything except for get rid of that electrical field over, <laughs> over where it is, at least uh, as far as I can tell. Because there wasn't any other sort of thing going on there. And this is a whole block that I can walk around in circles, I think. Uh, I don't see any plaques, though, so... And I definitely can't jump up there if you look around the uh, uh, the block there. You just don't have that sort of jump. And yeah, that's another thing is that if I got some sort of new ability from uh, completing all the puzzles, it's beyond me what it is. <laughs> like, it'd be interesting if there's like press something key to fly and then you'd be able to find some super secret ultra final puzzle at the farthest corners of the world somewhere that you had no chance of being able to jump jump to otherwise, but I don't think so. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be that sort of thing. Hmm. And also looking back at those, uh, those dealios over there every so often because, you know, I get to see them from a different perspective, the ones that I can walk around. Uh, whoa, 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 what's this? Is this just nothing? It's nothing. <laughs> I, you can tell, basically tell if it's leading somewhere if you look up, and then you've, you know if you see there's some sort of path going through there. Usually, uh, that, that's what I realize when I when I get poor depth depth because of the the shading or whatnot of a, of a particular area. But yeah, uh, not in that case. Didn't seem to be anything. This is why I go through all little little crevices and stuff like that. That's why I jumped down to get in here, wasn't it? Uh, oh, what the. What is this? Is this something... It's like a little path that... Like a secondary path that leads here? Uh, or is this just detailing? Because I, I don't think there would be a secondary path that leads here because then that would defeat the whole... The whole purpose of the whole double door... You know, to block the way in here. So, that's probably just detailing. I hope. <laughs> So yeah, it looks like I did a full 360 around there. And I guess I'll try the elevator one more time. And then uh, if nothing happens there, and I don't know. <laughs> because maybe maybe Slender Cube was just the indicator of, uh, like, maybe that you found all the secret puzzles. Like, all the gray puzzles. But as you've seen, I went through every single crevice in the game. Or at least I think I went through every single crevice of the game. And found basically all that I found. Like anything that I seen, I basically showed. And well, actually, maybe I didn't show everything. Like maybe depending on what I cut out of puzzles or whatnot. But yeah, but, eh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's just see what I can do back over at the elevator. Then I guess because I don't see anything else. <gasps> Slender Cube is here. Oh my. Okay, here it comes. Big specials ending here. Ready? Whoa! What? Did I... Hello? Oh! Ah! <laughs> well, that's, uh... That's different. 
Hmm, can I move? Can I like... Here's at the end. <laughs> I think this is the best ending. <laughs> Space bar, arrow keys, escape. Oh, I closed the window. <laughs> Let me try that again. You know, I was thinking, maybe I did cut out the thing where I said that I seen the other pathway that might have led around. But, I don't know, I, I, just, I don't remember. I mean, it's been a little while since I played it. I kind of gave my brain a, a rest from the puzzles. So, <laughs> so I, I haven't really thought about how I've worked on it or whatnot. So I don't remember if I cut out the thing where I said that the uh, alternate path might have led around. You know, that one that I found out in the darkness. And I, I thought I might have found the path to it from some other... I mean, I haven't found the path at that time to some other thing. I, I just don't remember, but I, I know I was at least thinking about it. So that's good enough for me. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though, I guess, because I already showed the thing anyway. So, yeah, you got to see everything that I... Uh, that, that I found important, I guess, to show. All right. Let's try it one more time. Now, the reason why I hit the escape key before was because it brings up the menu. And you can see it inverts stuff on here, but yeah. So. Slender Cube. It prevents me from using the elevator completely, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see if something... Let's see if I can do something different over here and... Hmm. All right. We're moving. We're grooving. I'm hitting stuff. Hitting enter. Hitting space. I'm not gonna hit escape though. Using the mouse buttons. I don't want to use the F keys either. That kind of that could mess things up. <laughs> uh, no. I think this is how it ends. <laughs> it's on the black screen of death, of which I can't even read what this is. It's too low of a resolution. <laughs> So, I, I mean, I'm sure that's on purpose, but yeah. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to assume, because I think this is it, that this is the end of the walkthrough. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next walkthrough.